you're welcome to my channel in this video we want to construct an hyperbola right using rectangular method and the question goes like this it says draw a rectangular hyperbola having a point on the curve 18 millimeter from the vertical asymptotes asymptotes and 76 millimeter from the horizontal asymptote so what you do is when you talk about asymptotes, asymptote simply means that is the line that are tangent to a hyperbola, right? Line that is what tangent to the parabola to the hyperbola at infinity. They are called asymptotes. Is that okay now? So what I will do is you draw your vertical and horizontal line. This is my vertical line this way. I'll call it my vertical asymptotes and this will be the horizontal line this way I'll call it my horizontal asymptotes and now we're not told that is having a point on the curve 18 millimeter from the vertical asymptotes so let's say this is a vertical asymptote here so let me draw measure a line 18 millimeter away from it so I'll measure from zero I'll measure 18 which is at this point then I'll call that point let's say this point is O from here to OP is 18 so on that line I'm going to draw a vertical line this way then in I said it is what 76 millimeter from the horizontal asymptote this is the horizontal asymptote here and I'll measure 18 millimeter away from it 76 sorry so from 0, this is 70, 76 is somewhere around here, right? So that is 76. And I'm going to do the same thing at that point too. I'll draw my horizontal line this way. So I'll call that point, point R, line R. Is that okay now? So where they meet, we'll call it point P. So what I'm going to do is, from this point here, I will draw a line that will pass through arrow P and also cut through the line P, right? So let's move forward. I'll draw a line from this point such that it's going to cut through arrow P. You can see that? Let's put it this way. Sorry. From here, so they are meeting at this point here, All right? I'll call it point two. Now, I'll take my compass, I'll place it at arrow from the horizontal to that point where it meets here. I'll come to the vertical here, I'll do the same thing here, and I'll draw my line to pass through that point this way you see that so it's meeting at this point here is that okay now so what i'm going to do where it meets i'll now use the form a triangle this way a right angle what triangle i'll start from here draw a line this way front line and i'll draw another vertical line this way so where they meet I'm going to call it one of the points of the hyperbola. I'll do the same thing here too. Form your right angle triangle with this line this way. This line this way. So I have another point here. This is where they meet. Another point. Let me say this is point two. And this is also what? Point two. They are forming right angle towards to each other. That is the what is important there. I'll come again, I'll do the same thing. I'll draw another line that is going to pass through the same point here. Let me do that this way. I see that it's meeting at this point, and 
I'll make it from the right angle triangle too. This way. Let's draw this one down. And I'll come here also. I'll draw this in this manner too. They must form 90 degree with each other. So they are meeting at 90 degree here. So this is another point here. I'll call it that point one. And I'll call this point B. I'll call it point zero. Right? I'll just draw any line at any given radius to pass through that point. To just pass through that point. So pass through that point from here at any given radius. So if you do that, they are meeting here and they are also meeting here. So you can make them form 90 degree by drawing a vertical line from the point where you touch the horizontal, which is this point. Just take it up. And the point where you touch the vertical, which is this point, and you draw it to meet here. So where they meet, it's forming 90 degree. I'll call it my point one. So those points are the points I am going to join. I'm going to join this point this way. So I'll start from here. From the P. Right. Let's move this this way. You gauge it. I see that. I'll just draw this to this point. Put that here. And I'll do this too. And here too. So this is what we have here, and that is the hyperbola. Let's take you now. That's what we have. So this is how you construct hyperbola, hyperbola using rectangular method. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.